But you and I have been waiting for this all day here. A couple of Ted Lasso fans hoping to talk to Cristo Fernandez, a.k.a. Danny Rojas here very soon on the Goodyear Hotline. And I believe we have him right now. So for anyone, if you missed the phenomenon that has been Ted Lasso, the Apple TV show that during the course of this last year and change has taken pop culture, taken the world by storm, a lovable story of an American football coach going overseas to England to coach AFC Richmond, a team there as a part of the English soccer group. And one of the stars of that show, Cristo Fernandez, who plays Danny Rojas, one of the more lovable characters, joins us now. Cristo, we appreciate the time today, my friend. How are you doing? Oh, thank you very much, guys. It's my pleasure. Thank you for the interview and thank you for the kind words and for watching the show. Uh, Cristo, I'm, I'm so curious. As you've gone through this process with the show, have you been surprised by the reaction, by the reception that this show has had in the last year and a half? What stars you've become? Well, I mean, now that I'm here in, in LA looking for opportunities and working hard, I'm realizing about this. All the over, how overwhelming it has been for me at the beginning, uh, discovering this, all these. And great successes. Uh, so last of all, it's always good when people will tell you how, how positive impact it has had in their lives and how much it has helped them uh, to move on with the difficult times we've, we've all been living, makes everything more special. And, and yeah, it, it's been driving us a little bit by surprise, but I think somehow we all knew the scripts were amazing, the good vibes were amazing, the cast and crew. So it, it's, really, it's really nice to, to see all of this happening. You mentioned the good vibes. Your character has a lot of good vibes on that show. Your signature line is football is life. And football at one point in your life, Krista, was actually life because you grew up playing and you even played professionally as a teenager. How much does that translate to this part? And I am curious, when you decide to stop chasing the soccer dream and to start chasing the acting dream, was there any apprehension there? Because making it in either of those careers is a long shot. Yeah, um, and, and funny story is that I just realized the other day on a Q&A that I, uh, because Bill already mentioned that I came up with a football is life thing because in, in my first audition, I, I mentioned how football was life for me um, because of what you said. I, I used to play professionally, and, and yeah, like that was my whole life. That was everything I, I did. My grandma and my mother used to say that I just drink, speak, eat, and watch football all the time. That was it. So, as with any athlete, some injuries happen, and I think um, regardless of the injuries, there were things that, and decisions and possibilities I, that I could have chosen and decisions I could have made, and I didn't do because I think I was afraid in my head and and, and, and things that I didn't do, and, and most importantly, getting out of my comfort zone. So, once I touched bottom personally in my life, failing in soccer and in football, I realized that I was grateful for finding this new passion and, and the thing that I didn't do back then, I shouldn't do them in these new objectives and goals I had. So that's why I wanted to go as far as I could, go go to the UK and struggle with with the cold and, and not understand the, the key like Ted Lasso. And, and, but then realizing it's good because anything that is warm and keeps you warm from this cold weather is good. So, I, 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 I am grateful with the sport. It has given me lots of discipline, and who would have thought that without knowing I could have this role my whole life? Cristo Fernandez plays Danny Rojas on the hit television show Ted Lasso, joining us here on the Goodyear Hotline. And, and the T certainly been a great through line for a lot of the show with Ted Lasso that you mentioned there, but overcoming some of that struggle, having to deal with injury. We've seen that as a part of this season, the conversation around mental health, sports psychology in this season of Ted Lasso. Why did you guys think that was such an important message that you wanted to be a part of this season of the show? Well, it's, it's somehow it's, it's difficult times we've all been living and going through everywhere in the world with the pandemic and COVID and things. Even these first three months that we were actually shooting in London were kind of hard because from January to March, we were in complete lockdown in London and not being able to socialize with cold weather. Um, so I, I think it's just an important subject that 
we just need to talk about it. Sometimes it's, I, I feel that it's still considered a bit of taboo, and it shouldn't be like that because we all go through ups and downs in life, in any aspect and things we do in life, and I think it's it's healthy and important to to ask for help when you need it and, and know that it's, it's it's fine and it's normal and it's natural and and at least for me, with Danny Rojas, with the character, I'm, I'm grateful for these new moments that they are giving myself as an actor. And I like to be challenging, but also I think they're making this character feel more of a human person, more of a real person that has uh, ups and downs like anyone else. And, and and to be able to surround yourself with the people, family, and, 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 and a sports psychologist, it's important. And I, I, I reflect on my life as an athlete, and I think... I wish I had had uh, a Dr. Sharon at Ted Lasso that could have pushed me into going and, and getting this mental health support that I needed. And I think it's important that everyone embraces these new ideas and these new approaches. We keep talking about the messages of this show. They're important messages. Also, that positivity comes at such a difficult time for everybody. I'm curious from a personal perspective for you. Obviously, everyone knows you're an actor. You also have your own production company. Has playing this part in Ted Lasso influenced what kind of projects you want to take on in the future? I, I mean, 100%. Um, I, I, I've realized that the Ted Lasso... Um, the, the important role we have as artists and actors and filmmakers and in the content and that we put out there. And again, it, it makes everything more special that people approach you and just not congratulate you for the success of the show, but also thank you for what it's meant for everyone's lives and how we have helped them. And, and, and at least for me, in the stories I, I want to keep telling, I wanted to to go in that direction of, of of having a content and a message that is something intentional, something well, uh, a positive message that, that I would like to put out there in any any story I, I like to tell. So, yeah, it has allowed me to realize about the importance we have in in, in the content we put out there. Hey, hey. Content. And that influence and that joy that you guys have brought that is certainly going to influence you. And I think a lot of other people who have watched this show has been incredible. I, I, I am curious, Christo, we all watch the show and everyone latches on. Your character has been a favorite for so many. Coach Beard, you know, Jason Sudeikis, play, Jason Sudeikis playing Ted Lasso. As you've gone through and been around the show and seen the show, is there a character that you've kind of fallen in love with besides your own on the show that you're a really big fan of? <laughs> Oh man, you you're putting it hard because everyone's characters are amazing and everyone in the cast are awesome and um, I I love uh, Nate the Great his journey and and how uh, and Nick Mohammed plays it amazingly. One of my favorite things is that famous Nate speech in the local room. Um, but I I I find work and really inspirational <laughs> because it's like that anger that. Like, well, it could be bad, um, but approach in a positive way, you know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so one of my favorite books is The Subtle Art, the subtle art of Not Giving Up. <laughs> so, and I, I think that, that book represents what good somehow, and, and I just, and Brent Olson is amazing, and, and I, I, if I have to choose right now one, I'll say what can. <laughs> Uh, Roy Kent is a great choice. I have an AFC Richmond Roy Kent jersey in the mail on the way to my house right now, but the Danny Rojas jersey uh, is not that. far behind on that one. Cristo okay. Fernandez plays Danny Rojas on the hit show Ted Lasso here. He is incredible. If you haven't already watched the show and seen him yell, football is life, then you are gravely, okay. gravely missing out. Cristo, we can't thank you enough for giving us some time today. It was so much fun. Thank you for everything you guys do, and we hope to talk to you again soon oh definitely just let me know when and i'll be there and, and again i appreciate your time guys and for watching the show the time works and and thank you very much the first of many more and and, and we keep in touch Absolutely. There we go. Cristo Fernandez, Danny Rojas, friend of the show now here on Chenea and Golick Jr.